Okay, everybody, all set up. Coach, you ready? We'll go ahead with an opening statement from Coach, and then we'll take questions, and we have the microphone today. Coach? Uh, felt really good to have some bodies back. Even though guys are kind of rusty, it was good to have Jalen, DeAndre, Jaden, and uh, Landers back on the floor. Uh, makes us more dynamic, even though they're, like I said, the rhythm isn't there, especially on DeAndre and uh, Jaden and uh, and Landers, but their presence was definitely felt out on the floor for sure. Penny, when, when did you know all four would be back? And if you had played in Cincinnati, would they have been ready to go then? Um, I knew, yeah, right before Cincinnati. Jaden was the only one that wasn't going to play, but everyone else was going to play in Cincinnati. Steven and then Jeff. Penny, the, the first time you played these guys, you guys basically had seven guys because Jaden got hurt, had almost a full roster. Was that basically just the difference this time around? Yeah, for sure. Uh, I think that, I mean, um, like I said, the weapons, I feel like when we're healthy, we're the best team in this league. And that's no, that's not me biting my tongue because I, I should feel that way. But our roster is pretty strong. Houston has been doing some phenomenal things. So is SMU. But we haven't been at full staff. But for sure, I think that's the, that's us being almost back to, to 100%. This is kind of turning into a, a thing. Like you get hot in January, late January, early February. Uh, you did it last year. Um, is that is that what we're seeing? Three games in a three wins in a row now, and you know, are you feeling confident with the way you're, you guys are playing now? I mean. 88 points, 28 point win. I think that yeah, I'm very proud of this win because UCF is one of the better teams in our league. They're not, they're not a pushover, and they they made their run. But yeah, I think the previous years, everything is like <laughs> the 10 game winning streak that we had. Uh, James, first year here, where he had ended up leaving the team last year, didn't have DeAndre the first seven games. We finally got a rhythm once the once conference started. Alo got hurt, and then all of a sudden the guys just kind of came together. This year, man, it's it should have been from the beginning, but the chemistry part, playing young guys and trying to make it all work, it's finally starting to come together. I hate that it's always happening in February, but it's month, so they're not going to be ready just right now. How long do you expect for everybody to be back in tip-top shape in in full form? I think uh. I think at least a couple games. These off days have been helping us with conditioning, but nothing is like the game, as you know. So I think uh, after these two games, I think they'll have a rhythm with all the games we have in between the practice. Those two games will be enough uh, for them to kind of be back and, and have a rhythm. I think it takes about two, maybe three. How did the um, – did, did Amani come to you and say, I, I, I would like to go see – somebody not hear about my back? Like, how did that whole scenario play out? Yeah, his back has been has been hurting for a while. And um, he just said, you know, we, we don't travel to guys that aren't playing. So we were going to Cincinnati. Instead of him staying here, he was going to use that time because he wasn't going to be able to play. We don't travel to guys on the road anymore. So he was going to use that time to go to Cincinnati and then come back. I mean, I'm sorry, go to Michigan while we were in Cincinnati. And obviously, the game got canceled. And uh, that's what happened. He's contagious. Early on, he, he was a little nervous. You know, he told me he was a little nervous, you know, heavy legs in the beginning. And once he got his uh, his second win, I should say, he calmed down and, uh, and went back into the game and was himself. You know, the game has been coming to him through uh, fast breaks, basket cuts, time to isolations when we put him at the five. Uh, he's a mismatch against a normal five man. And kind of try to find creative ways to get him going. And he never – disappoints. He's always out there just going to play to exhaustion and, and do what he needs to do for us.